Hello, welcome again to Two Talk Two. I'm with John McGrain, Director General of the British Irish Chamber of Commerce. John, the Irish focus, not surprisingly, on Brexit has been all about the pain to date. Is there any gain in it for us? Yeah, absolutely, Jim, and uh, good to be with you. Brexit is a huge opportunity for anybody in Ireland in the business space and indeed in the education space. Uh, Ireland is in this unique space now that having absorbed what Brexit is all about and getting on with the, the, the changes, the reality is Ireland is now the, the best place to deal with both the UK market and the EU market. So we're helping lots of British firms base themselves in Ireland to do just that. There's lots more opportunity there. Well, closer to our own space, if you were Minister for Higher Education and Research for a day, what one change would you make? I'd fund it for today and I'd invest in it for tomorrow. Look, our higher education system and the broad education space is the best use of our money that we can put into our country and into our talented people for the future. We have It's the least we can do. It was done in the 60s. It has been tried along the way. Now is the time to go large. Invest in it for the future. So, uh, a few quick fire questions, John. The most inspiring Irish person alive, in your view? Well, they're twins, actually, to be honest with you, Jim. So, Sister Sansa Candy and uh, Father Peter McVerry, they give the idea of vocation such a real meaning in our world. And, you know, the homelessness issue is a cancer in society, and people like those inspire us to do everything we can about it. S super people. Sport, soccer, rugby, or GAA? All of them, actually, since the last time Loud won in Ireland was in the year I was born in 1957. So we bet on everything. Look at seriously, our sports and and our and indeed our cultural organisations nationwide are a massively important piece of the fabric of Irish life, making lives better. And all who support them, we support. And finally, and briefly, John, your motto for life. Well, actually, my motto for life, Jim, is I'm reminded of it every morning because it's on the sign outside my door. It's the name of my holding company, ABDSU Limited. ABDSU stands for always be doing something useful. I find it a motto that I'm glad to refer to every morning just when I'm not sure what the day might bring. John McGrain, thank you for joining to talk to.